Victims of the alleged Tanimbala scam at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport had to recount their ill-fated experience with some unscrupulous airport security personnel during a Senate hearing today. Ann Nunez will tell us why. The Senate Committee on Public Services and the Blue Ribbon Committee asked the victims of Tanimbala scam to narrate what they have gone through from the modus operandi. Victims who attended the hearing were Lane Michael White, accompanied by his family Rowena Otik, Rufina Cruz, Milagros Cadiente, and Gloria Ortinez. White's family recounted how Lane's luggage was repeatedly placed through the X-ray machine by several OTS personnel. White's stepmother, Eloisa White, recalled that there was a PNP officer who tried to extort 30,000 pesos in exchange of Lane's freedom. Meanwhile, Gloria Ortinez recounted how she was allowed to board at Lawag Airport, but when she reached Naia Terminal 2, bullets mysteriously appeared in her bag. She was forced to admit the incident and was detained at the Aviscom facility without even offered any food. In the end, Ortinez maintained she is innocent. According to Senator Alan Peter Cayetano, fair investigation must be carried out first before charges are filed. Committee urges MIA General Manager Jose Honrado and DOTC Secretary Abaya to review the airport procedures at Naia so that OFWs would have agencies to run for assistance in cases such as the Tanimbala. Honrado says they are now planning to install additional CCTV cameras within the airport premises. Meanwhile, Senator Grace Po suggested an inspection inside the locker rooms of OTS personnel to identify who among them are involved in Tanimbala. Yusek Rekomono believes there is a syndicate behind bullet implantation in airport and assures his agency is studying on the pattern of incidents. And in his reporting, for Y News.